Prothero's main su substantive scientific critique of the book is his claim that I exaggerate the brevity of the Cambrian explosion. Now this is kind of odd because in the debate I had with Prothero uh, in 2009, he made that same claim. He claimed that the, the Cambrian explosion was an 80 million year event and I responded to him at the time in the debate uh, and in the book I retell the interaction that we had and provide my refutation again of his claim that the Cambrian explosion is an 80 million year event. He doesn't interact with my refutation, he simply re restates the same claim that the Cambrian explosion is an 80 million year event. So for the third time, let me explain what's wrong with Prothero's claim. Prothero claims that the, the Cambrian explosion took 80 million years. And what he does to make that claim is that it, instead of focusing on the the major pulse of morphological innovation in the Cambrian period that most paleontologists deem the explosion. And most paleontologists in the technical literature do deem the explosion to be about a 10 million year event. What Prothero does is he includes other events within the designation of Cambrian explosion. So he goes back into the late Precambrian and includes the Ediacaran fauna and their first appearance as part of the Cambrian explosion. Then he looks at the very base of the Cambrian, at the very beginning of the Cambrian, and includes something called the small shelly fauna and their origin as part of the Cambrian explosion. Then he includes the events that, that most paleontologists include as the, 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 the main pulse of the Cambrian explosion as part of the Cambrian explosion between 530 and 520 million years ago. And then he even includes events that, that occur much after that, the, the diversification of trilobites. And so he incorporates several separate paleontological events within the designation Cambrian explosion and gets an 80 million year uh, figure for the, the entire event. Now, Prothero is entirely free to do that, to rename the Cambrian if he so chooses, as a, this 80 million year window that includes all these separate events. But it doesn't eliminate the problem that is the focus of my book, which is what explains the major pulse of innovation in which the, the great majority of animal body plans first arise. Uh, th that event still remains unexplained. And in fact, it, it's an even more acute problem than just uh, defining it as a 10 million year event as most experts do, because between 13 and 16 major phyla, the largest division of animal classification representing new body plans, uh, the, the, the new animal phyla arise, th between 13 and 16 new animal phyla arise in a narrow five to six million year window of that 10 million year window. And so whether you want to include other events as part of the, under the designation Cambrian explosion or not, um, that's just a semantic issue. What has to be explained is an issue of biological engineering. What caused all that new biological form to arise in such a narrow window of time, and where did the information come from to produce all those new forms of animal life? Prothero does not address that question, let alone answer it, and what he does instead is play semantic games by redefining the Cambrian as an 80 million year event in a, in a vain attempt to portray the book as, um, as, as not up to date on paleontology. Actually, his designation of the event as an 80 million year event is starkly at odds with the judgment of most major Cambrian experts who do define it, just as I do in the book, as a 10 million year event. Yeah, th there's an irony uh, associated with the Donald Prothrow review because he provides this comprehensive, he thinks, litany of complaints about the accuracy of Darwin's doubt. And then he says, for a really good book on the Cambrian explosion, you shouldn't read Darwin's doubt. You should read the new book on the Cambrian explosion by James Valentine and Doug Irwin, the real acknowledged experts in the field. But what's ironic about his recommendation is that on most of the important matters of fact uh, 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 for which he takes me to task, uh, Valentine and Irwin agree, w agree with me rather than, than, than Prothero. For example, he claims the Cambrian explosion is an 80 million year event. I claim it's a 10 million year event. Um, I drew on Douglas Irwin and James Valentine because they also say that it's a 10 million year event and they are the acknowledged experts and I drew on their expertise. Um, he claims that, uh, the, that I dishonestly dismiss the absence of fossils as um, uh, s the result of a real event, uh, sorry, he, he also claims that I um, failed to recognize that the absence of fossils in the Precambrian strata 
is a byproduct of incomplete preservation of those earlier Precambrian forms that later evolved to become the Cambrian forms. But Valentine and Irwin agree with me, or I agree with them, that the uh, artifact hypothesis is an inadequate explanation for the missing ancestral forms in the Precambrian, and that the Cambrian explosion is a real event. In fact, Valentine and Irwin very clearly say it's a real event and not a product of incomplete preservation or incomplete sampling of the fossil record. Prothero also claims that the rates of evolutionary innovation during the Cambrian period were typical of the evolutionary process throughout the history of life. Uh, and, and faults me for not recognizing that, but yet again, uh, Valentine and Irwin say the rates were very atypical and completely anomalous. Uh, in fact, so much so that they question whether or not we can apply uniformitarian thinking to the Cambrian period. And they, say, they, they characterize it as a non-uniformitarian evolutionary event. James Valentine and Doug Irwin are not proponents of intelligent design as I am, but on the key factual points at issue between Prothero and me, their book uh, reinforces the claims that I make in Darwin's Doubt and actually contradicts the claims that Prothero makes in his review.